Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is going to be radiology number 35 and we're going to continue talking about different um, medicinal identities used in the ICU or other critical care condition departments. So here's just a quick review of the different x-ray gradients that we need to know. If you do remember from our prior videos, you don't really need to be that uh, obsessed with it right now, but it'll definitely come handy later on when we're kind of combining all the stuff. But if you want more information on this, feel free to check some of my earlier videos so you can get a better understanding of how we can use this to identify effects in patients. So today is going to be using a chemical called chlorohexidine. And this is typically used as a kind of like an antiseptic to clean the different IV lines. And it's kind of presented in the form of like this uh, small little screw. And how it works is you kind of push it on to the connecting piece of the IV and it kind of just quickly cleans that area. And that's really important because it kind of prevents different infections from happening and kind of gets rid of all the potential bacteria from disconnecting, reconnecting the lines. And so it kind of helps make sure that the patient doesn't get um, infected internally through because these lines are going to run through their veins, right? If it gets infected, it's going to basically travel through the whole cardiovascular system in a relatively short time because it's going to be constantly circulated. So it's really important that that happens. We also use it to help clean patients um, when they have certain messes, and this could kind of be when they're voiding, etc. And it's a very strong cleaning tool, and it's also has not that much of an odor, so it can be very useful for different patients who have different preferences. And that's kind of it for this video. I kind of want to make this a little bit short to kind of add this additional detail in because I noticed it being heavily used in the ICU especially. And I felt that it's kind of an important medic, it's not really a medication, but a really uh, strong like medicinal tool kind of used to help prevent future developments from happening. So that was pretty important to include that. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.